Hello friends, in this lecture we will discuss a short story, The Dog of Tithwal, which has been written by Sadat Hasan Manto. First of all, we will discuss about Sadat Hasan Manto in brief and then we will start the short story, The Dog of Tithwal. So, Sadat Hasan Manto is one of the famous Indo-Pakistani writers. Means, he was born in India, but after partition, he shifted to Pakistan. So he was born in Ludhiana, but later on after partition, which took place in 1947, uh, he shifted to Pakistan. Now, Sadat Hasan Manto, he writes in uh, Urdu. Later on, his works, they were uh, translated into English. His first short story is Tamasha. And through his uh, first short story, Tamasha, he talks about the famous Jallianwala Bag massacre which took place in Amritsar in 1919. Now the favorite theme or the central theme of most of Sadat Hasan Manto's work is partition. Through his works, Sadat Hasan Manto, he talks about experiences of people. He talks about displacement. He talks about uprootedness. And he also talks about violence, which the people belonging to both countries, India and Pakistan, they suffered during and after partition. Now, the short story which has been written by him and which we are going to talk about in this lecture is the dog of a Tithwal. Now, this short story was translated into English by Khalid Hassan. Now, through this short story, from the title, you can understand the central character of this short story is a dog and Tithwal is the name of the area where this short story is set. It is a hilly area and through this short story Sadat Hasan Manto like most of his works he talks about partition. This short story is a style or partition. Through this short story he talks about the problems faced by the common people during partition. So the dog of this short story, he is a symbolic character. The dog stands for a common man. As during and after partition, the common man, they suffered a lot. Similarly, in this short story also, the dog who is a common dog and he also suffers a lot. And towards the end of this short story, the dog even dies. So through the central character of dog, Sadat Hasan Manto, he talks about the experiences. He talks about the violence. He talks about the torture faced by the common men during partition. Another theme of this short story is the exploitation of animals by human beings for their own pleasure. And this takes place in this short story also, towards the end of this short story. The soldiers belonging to enemy camps, belonging to Indian camp and the Pakistani camp, they enjoy themselves with the dog. We will talk about this uh, through the short story, The Dog of Tithwal. So these are the two important themes which the short story conveys, though this short story has a number of themes. So all the themes can't be covered in a single lecture. But for your better understanding, you must remember these two important themes. Now we will talk about the characters of this short story. And then we will discuss the detailed summary of this uh, short story. So it's night time when the short story starts. And in the very beginning of this short story, we are told about two armies, Indian Army and the Pakistani Army. They are camping on the hills of Tithwal. These hills, they face each other. They are situated on the same height. So neither army is in advantage. And Jamadar Harnam Singh, he is performing his night duty. And Jamadar Harnam Singh, he is an Indian soldier. So at two o'clock, he wakes up another character whose name is Ganda Singh. He wakes up Ganda Singh at two o'clock because 
Jamadar Harnam Singh's duty gets over. Then Ganda Singh, he resumes the duty of night watch. Now Jamadar Harnam Singh, as he lays down, as he lies down, but he doesn't feel sleepy, means he doesn't feel sleepy. And then Jamadar Harnam Singh, he starts humming a song. Humming a song, buy me a pair of shoes, my lover, a pair of shoes with stars on them. So he starts humming this song and soon his mood gets changed. He feels delighted. And meanwhile, and he feels a little bit sentimental also. And meanwhile, he he makes or he makes wake up each and every soldier in the Indian camp. Now, in the Indian camp, there's another soldier whose name is Banta Singh, who is the youngest of the Indian soldiers. Banta Singh has a very sweet voice. So Banta Singh also starts singing a song, and he sings a tragic song of He Ranjha. And when he sings that song, so the entire camp falls into melancholy, falls into sadness. Now, they all are sad, even the hills, they become sad, they seem sad. Now, all of a sudden, this sadness is removed by the barking of the dogs. All of a sudden, they hear the barking of the dog. And Banta Singh, he observes that uh, there is something in the bush. So he goes near the bush and he comes out with a common dog. And Banta Singh, he introduces that dog to the soldiers that he told me. He tells that the dog told him that his name is Junjun. Now the soldiers, they start laughing. Now Jamadar Harnam Singh, he throws a cracker, means he throws a biscuit to the dog. The dog snips it, smells it. And as the dog is about to eat that biscuit, Jamadar Harnam Singh, he picks up that biscuit and, and he says that this dog may be a Pakistani dog. So he asks the dog to prove his identity that he is an Indian dog. Now the dog starts wagging his tail. And now Jamadar Harnam Singh, he says that wagging the tail doesn't mean that he belongs to India. So there, there are some funny incidents there. Then, then, then one soldier, he makes a very witty comment. He says that now even the animals will have to decide whether they belong to India or Pakistan. So that is a very wonderful comment on the partition that even animals, they have been divided, that which animal is Indian, which animal is a Pakistani. So you know that the dog stands for the common man. So through the short story, problems of the common man are being indicated that uh, each and every uh, country suspected the common man whether that common man is faithful to him, to that country or not. Now, Jamadar Harnam Singh, he offers another biscuit to the dog and then dog disappears. Now it gets morning, it's morning time and Jamadar Harnam Singh, he finds smoke rising from the enemy camp. So he comes to the conclusion that the enemy soldiers, they are also preparing their breakfast, breakfast as the Indian soldiers are preparing. Now the scene shifts to the Pakistani camp. There is a Subedar whose name is Himmat Khan. Now he has huge mustache. So he is twirling his huge mustache and beside him is sitting a wireless operator who is uh, working on a walkie talkie and that wireless of uh, that wireless soldier he is trying to contact he's trying to contact the platoon commander now a few feet away from subedar himmat khan and that wireless 
soldier. Bashir is sitting. He is sitting on the ground. His back is against the rock and a rifle is in front of him. And now Bashir, he starts singing a song. He sings the song. Where did you spend the night? My love, my moon. Where did, where did you spend the night? So as he is singing the song, all of a sudden, Bashir hears that uh, Subedar Himmat Khan, he shouts loudly, where did you spend the night? And when Bashir looks, he finds that Subedar Himmat Khan is shouting at the dog. So that dog came to the Pakistani camp a few days ago. The dog he spent some days there but the previous night the dog disappeared and now the dog has come again so subedar himmat khan is shouting at the dog where did you spend the night where did you spend the last night now all of a sudden they notice that they notice a tag tied to the dog's collar so when that tag is red so what is written on the tag on the tag it is written shan shan sorry um, on the tag that is written jun jun this is an indian dog now when they read the word jun jun so they think that this may be a secret code and then the complete line is jun jun this is an indian dog so subedar himmat khan he talks to the commander of the platoon and then commander then the commander of the platoon he tells subedar himmat khan that this matter is not of any importance then subedar himmat khan he asked bashir to write another piece and to tag that piece to the dog and bashir on that piece of paper he writes so instead of jun jun he writes shan shan and you all know what is the meaning of shan shan means avoid so he writes shan shan this is a pakistani dog now the the dog is the same dog which spent the previous night with the indian soldiers so that piece of paper is tied to the dog's collar and subedar himmat khan he orders the dog to go to the indian army and to deliver this masses and to come back. So he makes the dog run away and the dog starts running towards the Indian camp. So all of a sudden, Jameda, Jamadar Harnam Singh, he through his binoculars, binoculars I think you know, a type of telescope with the help of binoculars, we can see distant things clearly. So with his binoculars, Jamadar Harnam Singh, he observes, he observes the same dog and he observes that the dog is coming from the enemy army, that the dog is coming from the Pakistani camp. And what happens that he shoots the dog, but he misses the dog. The bullet strikes the rock and the dog is terrified and the dog turns back and he starts running towards the Pakistani camp. So Subedar Himmat Khan he is also observing this through his binoculars. So Subedar Himmat Khan, he wants that the dog should deliver the masses to the Indian army. And that's why he says that the dog should not feel fear. And now Subedar Himmat Khan, he also shoots the dog. Now the dog finds himself in problem because on the one hand, Jamadar Harnam Singh is shooting. On the other hand, Subedar Himmat Khan is shooting. So the dog starts circling in round. He starts circling round and round. And now Subedar Himmat Khan and Jamadar Harnam Singh, they enjoy it. With each, with each shot, 
the dog gets more terrified starts circling in the start circling round and subedar himmat khan and jamadar harnam singh they enjoy this scene now meanwhile jamadar harnam singh he shoots and it hits the dog's leg so the dog loses its leg and when the dog loses its leg so the dog decides to return to the pakistani army but again subedar himmat khan he shoots the dog and at last dog with his leg bragging he tries to come to the indian army camp and at last jamadar harnam singh he shoots again carefully and it hits the dog and the dog dies and then the story ends with the with the, with the sentence he died a dog's death with this the this short story ends so no doubt it's a there are so many funny incidents here but through this short story sadat hasan manto he talks about the problem of the common man because the dog stands for the common man belonging to both india and pakistan because during the partition who suffered during the partition it was the common men who suffered a lot they were killed they lost their property they lost their home they lost their relatives they lost their near and dears so that's why through this short story he talks about the problems faced by the common men through the character dog i think i hope you will be able to understand this uh, short story so if you like this short story if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel oxbridge english and also don't forget to like comment and share this video thanks for watching the lecture